so cool, science. Science, you'll get to it right at home. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just crashing waves today. And I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file says... Why are oceans salty? You will need a container, some water, and some salt. All right, so you could use salty water from the seven seas, <laughs> but I'm betting most of you don't live near an ocean. Or a sea. So I'm gonna show you how to model the sea right at home. You see? <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, since we're modeling the sea, I'm gonna be using sea salt. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, enough of the crappy jokes. Let's get started. All right, pour in some water and then start pouring in some salt until the salt no longer dissolves. Mix it, mix it, mix it up. Mix it up. Oh! Oh! Would you look at that? Oh! oh! And now you gotta take this outside and let it sit in the sun for a one whole day. For a one whole day. For a one whole day! <laughs> and now you gotta take this outside and let it sit in the sun for 24 hours. <laughs> now check this out! Check it out! All of the water is gone, but the salt is still in the container. Now that is so wicked cool! So. Why does the water evaporate, but the salt stays behind? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. As water rains on the land and then flows over the land, the water picks up minerals like sodium. These minerals end up in lakes, ponds, rivers, and streams. Continuous rain sessions causes these minerals to flow out of lakes and ponds and into rivers and streams. These rivers and streams find the lowest part of the land, carrying the salt and other minerals to the oceans. The oceans have about 35 parts of salt per 1,000 parts of water, which would be like adding 35 milliliters of salt to one liter of water. Since solar energy isn't enough energy needed to cause salt to liquefy and then evaporate, the salt and minerals stay in the ocean and have been building up for the past 4 billion years. Not every lake gets its minerals flushed out from continuous rains, such as the Great Salt Lake, which has about 7 times more salt per thousand parts, and the Dead Sea, which has about eight times more salt per thousand parts. These lakes don't have any outlets, and therefore minerals just keep building up. So much that 1.8 metric tons of minerals are added to the Great Salt Lake every year. Salt is not the only mineral that gets washed into the oceans, but also magnesium, calcium, and potassium. When you mix potassium and sodium, you get a small amount of electricity. Magnesium and calcium are minerals needed for life, which is why scientists know that life began in the oceans. So now you know why the oceans are salty, you know, evaporating everything but salt is why science is so cool!